Alright, welcome back. So a lot of you guys have been requesting for the predictions for the season ticket, the season 3 ticket. So that's good. I mean, I was going to do this anyway, but uh, it's good to know that some of you guys remember the predictions videos that I made last year. So we're back here again with the SPL Spring Split. Now, if you purchase the season ticket, which is like 450 gems, and you go to the schedule, and here you can go ahead and vote for your teams, and if you win, um, you can get some fantasy points. So it's not just by winning matches. Uh, majority of the time you're gonna get most of your fantasy points from uh, picking your teams now For those of you who do not know what's going on with my esports and don't follow it uh, That's okay. So this video can kind of help you decide uh, This is just all my own opinion So I recommend checking out some other my pros that do YouTube content that do this I uh, check them out just overall just check out a lot of people's opinions and just kind of form one of your own uh, and yeah, so I'm going by, I have a list here uh, submitted from Smite Pro's Twitter about like five days ago, and this is the list I'm going based off of as far as like the team rosters from, because from season two to season three, like <laughs> a lot of the players have uh, changed around and new players and new teams, things like that. So a lot of things have changed. So starting with the 24th is when we get our very first match on Thursday. Uh, it's Team Eager versus Team Allegiance. Uh, Team Allegiance is probably the fan favorite going in for uh, Season 3 right now. And Team Eager as well, they have Divio's DJ Pern, the best, Aurora, and Zatman. Uh, I would have to say this would be a really solid split. Um, with the first few weeks, honestly, this is really huge and probably where most people might get their predictions wrong because we haven't seen these teams perform. A lot of these uh, players are professionals, but they haven't really had that time for team synergy building. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> the first few weeks is going to be really rough, and we can actually see who's going to be top, who's going to be bottom, who is in the middle. Uh, but yeah, I would give this a solid split for Team Eager and Team Allegiance. And next, we had the Randozos and Denial. Uh, I gave it for a 2 0 for uh, the Randozos because of Gars from TSM from previous uh, seasons, and uh, Polar Bear Mike, Miracat Adoro, and Scarity. All really good players that I know. And Denial Esports. Um, I believe they changed up their roster a little bit. Uh, Mason Face, Shadow Q, VTM, Mask, I know those players. I do not know their uh, solo laner. Uh, but overall, I feel like Randozos can get the 2-0. Uh, as, as well as can be a very well a split. Next, we have Wooney Tunes versus Enemy. Now, you may know Enemy from this most recent uh, Smite World Championships. They took second, but they changed their roster quite a bit. Enemy right now is Marauder. Uh, I... I have no idea who that jungler is. Chaos, Pain Divion, and Panda Cat. And I believe the ones that won worlds, the worlds <laughs> was just uh, Chaos and Pain Divion. The rest are all new players uh, to me anyway. Uh, except Panda Cat. I do know him. Uh, but Winter Tunes, it's, it's a mixture of old C9 and TSM. So it has all the well-known uh, professionals. And I feel like Winter Tunes and Team Envious for North America are probably going to be the top two teams. And by all means, I feel like Winter Tunes can 2-0 this team. Uh, fairly easily. It depends on how much enemy uh, practice uh, compared to Winnie Tunes. Next, we have uh, Panthera versus Torpedo Gaming. Uh, Panthera is basically the world champions. Uh, they were known as Epsilon previously. They just changed their name, but the same roster. And by all means, they should have no problem beating Torpedo and e any other European teams, honestly. Uh, so Panthera 2-0 for that. Next, we have Hungry for More versus Leftovers. Uh, these will probably be some of the bottom-ish type teams, I feel, for Europe. Uh, Leftovers, I believe they won their way into the SPL recently. And Hungry for More is just from, like, pros from other teams. Uh, Adaraxia, Pretty Prime, some familiar names, Captain Twig, Variety. Uh, Variety's really good. And Zendern. So all these real, well, really well-known names and versus no names, like, Leftovers, honestly. Um, only one I know from Leftovers is Cheerio. And I don't know any of the others. Uh, so just my personal experience from watching these matches, I would say hungry for more. But again, these very few first weeks, um, we're going to see exactly where everybody's being placed. So the first week, uh, there could be a lot of upsets. Um, already did that one. Let's move on to Fnatic versus Dignitas. Now, uh, Fnatic has some roster changes. It's still a Maniac, Z uh, Zeros, and Real Zex. But the two new players are Jiffy and Big Mantings. What a name. <laughs> Versus Team Dignitas. Uh, familiar names. Um, this is going to be a really tough one. It very well could be a split because of just whole new rosters. Uh, but Fnatic with the core of Maniac, Zeros, and Reels. 
I feel like they could probably help carry uh, and win for the 2-0. Uh, very well could be a split. Um, moving on to uh, Panthera, they're playing again versus Leftovers. It should be a 2-0 sweep, no problem there. Uh, next, Envy versus Team Eager. This should be a really fun match to watch. Uh, Envious, they pretty much all stuck together. The only new uh, newer player is their mid lane MLC Stealth, which is from the old C9. Uh, and yeah, since they probably had a really good time just building up Team Synergy recently with like the Xbox Worlds and things like that, versus Team Eager, which is all really good players, but we haven't really seen them play together. Um, ho hopefully they've been scrimming a lot, but I should think it'll be a Team Envious 2-0. Uh, um, and just until Team Eager can get, can get more just settled in and with their Team Synergy and things like that. Uh, moving on, don't forget to click these arrows here. So there are more matches here. It's like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So the Monday one, which is the last one, is Paradigm versus Fnatic. I give this a 2-0 for a Paradigm just because they're the same exact roster. And they've been winning a lot uh, late last year. Really well, uh, well rounded team versus Fnatic, which has some roster changes, which could cause a lot of problems. So I would give that a 2 0 for Paradigm. I uh, don't mind this. This <laughs> I I don't know why I voted for this one. Like I was just like misclicking and I just voted for that one. But yeah, uh, so I'm probably gonna put the the rosters on the uh, on the screen here, uh, just so you guys can see what I'm seeing and what I'm kind of judging about it. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know your guys' opinion on who you think is gonna win or if my roster I'm looking at is wrong or something, but yeah, so uh, the only problem is like, as of recording this, the uh, reason why I bring up this list is because the Smite Esports website is not updated as of recording this. It's still like last year's, which it can be really misleading for newer players to Smite Esports, but yeah, so that is it, and hopefully it was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.